Well, that's not really an ox, is it? So, today I thought I'd up my surfing again. I haven't surfed for a while. Board that I've got is a bit small. I haven't surfed it for a couple of decades. Thought I'd buy a new board. Uh, decided to order um, an Oxbow 7 foot egg just because I read a bit about them, saw some reviews. Actually bought two, talked a mate into buying another one as well, so uh, he's gone for it. So once I've opened these, if I find out I've got a crap surfboard, I've also got a mate that won't talk to me anymore. So exciting stuff, just arrived. No idea what to expect. Let's get them open. Oxbow seven foot egg. It's uh, made in Oxbow uh, Durotech, which is the scientific name for plastic. Um, hard plastic, well, and obviously a surfboard should be made from plastic because scientists have established that, um, you know, the ocean's full of plastic and it's not degrading, so this should, this should outlive you. Um, so we know one, two things, we're gonna, a, a board that'll last you forever and um, that humans are disgusting creatures that are ruining the planet. Anyway, back to the board. Not too heavy, um, it's got about 50 litres of volume which should float someone up to 85 kilos, which is a bit heavier than me, but uh, it should do me as well. Um, nice and wide where it counts, lots of volume in the middle. Um, comes with a pack of fins, which is always handy, and it's um, a five fin setup. Um, don't know why you'd need five fins. I, I think what this is for is you start off putting the fins in here, and then once you've reversed the car over it and broken these ones, you just move down to those ones. So you've always got a little spare set of um, fins. What we're gonna do is obviously um, get this set up, take it for a surf, got to try and look a bit more like a surfer, get back into my surfing and let you know how it performs. I'll be back with you then. So thought the excitement was over for the day. Got myself a little bit of washing line make a leash out of it so I can go surfing tomorrow. Uh, don't need it, another box arrived. We have got four bags. Oh, vital, protect your stick. Deck grip. You've got to have a grippy deck. We'll get that fitted. I uh, might even do a little instructional video on how that works if I can work it out myself. Uh, fucking wax and a leash. Washing line not needed. So we've got all the kit we need including the fucking wax. Uh, we're gonna get it all put together, get the deck grip on, get the wax on, get the leash on, get my surfing kit on, go down to the coast, do some surfing, let you know how that works out. Kim Brunt. So yeah, I got the deck grip on. Uh, I watched the tutorial. South African guy, I hope, because he kept saying, uh, make sure your dick is clean. Always have a clean dick before you start. So, yeah, if you're a six foot guy, 80 to 85 kilos, if you can get up on your feet on a big foamy or a big mal, you want to progress to something a bit smaller, it's a good board. Uh, not the easiest one to turn, but then the waves weren't that clean, so I don't know, maybe with cleaner waves, you get more turns. Um, it's solid, it's cheap, it's floaty, it's good fun, uh, it's good value for money, and as long as you don't try and put um, third-party GoPro mounts on it, you should have lots of fun. I don't know, maybe my dick wasn't that clean after all.